Hi, my name is Emily Teague. I am a fashion and portrait photographer based in New York, and for today I'm going to be talking about posing, focusing on the intention to make whoever is in front of your camera appear more feminine. So traits traditionally referred to as feminine include graceful, gentle, empathetic, sweet, sensitive, modest, tender, and charming. And of course, I wanna throw out there that these feminine posing tips can go for any model and you can also mix and match feminine and masculine traits together, but for today's video, I'll focus purely on the feminine side. So first thing to talk about is posture. Make sure to watch out for your model's posture. And in the beginning, I would suggest starting out with stand up straight and tall, keep your shoulders back, pull your stomach in, put your weight mostly on the balls of your feet, keep your head level, keep your arms down and naturally at your sides, and keep your feet about shoulder width apart. It's common to relax into rolling our shoulders in, and it might work for some poses if that's intentional, but also help your model out with this if they're forgetting and have them roll their shoulders down and back. It might be helpful for them to imagine a string from their head to the ceiling, kind of pulling their head and neck up and their shoulders back. The top of the shoulders should be above the hips. Also look for little details like the option to push collarbones out and to elongate your model's neck. Think graceful, gentle, and long. You're extending the body. Let the pose match the motion you want portrayed. So now that we've got good posture, let's make this pose a little more interesting than just standing straight on. Instead, we're going to make this more dynamic and soft by bending at the joints. So put a slight bend on one knee, turn the ankle, try turning the hips, Add a bend to an elbow, move shoulders around, turn the wrists, find what movements work, feel good, and look good. Keep this feeling and looking natural. And then don't forget about hands. If we're going for feminine posing, then think soft, delicate, light fingers. Avoid the clenched fist or fingers spread out wide. Make sure none of your fingers are straight or curled. It can be helpful to ask your model to shake their hands out and then have their hands and fingers lightly fall into place. Think ballerina fingers. Tuck your thumbs slightly so it's not hanging out. Fingers are light and without force. Instead of having the entire back of the hand show, try turning your wrist slightly so it's more of a profile view of the hand, light and graceful. Next up, try having your model take their forehead and come forward just slightly. This should help create a more flattering jawline. Just remember to be subtle with this, so no jutting out too far away from the shoulders. And now let's talk some more about moving the head. Something helpful for both you and your model can be if you hold your hand up and have your model's chin follow your hand. You can also tilt their head this way. Try several angles and the chin moving slightly left or right, up or down, or tilted with each shot that you get. There's so many options here. You can also use this method for eyes. If you want, you can even do it at the same time. So have your right hand hold still where you want the chin to be placed and then take your other hand and have the model's eyes follow that hand. When you've got the placement on the eyes where you want, you can remind your model to express emotions in their eyes. Keep them active. Be aware of how the face feels, if eyebrows are going up, if there's any tension in the jaw or face. So whatever emotion you're going for, have your model try and summon that into their look. Play around and see what works. Both a strong and loose jaw can feel feminine, so try them both out and see what looks better. If you wanna try a soft jaw, try having your model part their lips just slightly. Nothing too exaggerated here. Let the jaw and lips be soft. Try a slight head tilt as you do this. If you wanna try a strong jaw, try lips more together, but still soft. Don't purse the lips. Raise chin up just slightly for a strong, fierce, and elegant look. So let's show some posing examples of ways to move and direct your model. My model for today is also my best friend, Brandy Nicole, and she's here to help demonstrate some of these posing options. You can also look at these poses and any that you like, feel free to take a screenshot to try them later, or just pay attention to how I'm moving and directing her. So let's go. Okay, so I'm going to be giving Brandy some directions and she's just gonna follow along and I'll come in and kind of point some stuff out. But for now, let's just have you straight arms down, looking good. And then let's look at you. Okay, so why don't you take your right shoulder and start turning it towards the light. Beautiful. And then look over that shoulder for me right at the camera. 
That's gorgeous. Already, I'm really happy with that. Why don't we put a bend in the arm? So take that arm and just kind of bring it up to create a nice little bend. Beautiful, that looks really good. And each time I'm doing this, this could be a pose all on its own. I'm just gonna keep kind of flowing through these different poses. So next, why don't we keep that arm there? And then with your left arm, bring it up. And I'm thinking kind of towards your face. Beautiful, maybe in front of your lips, gorgeous. And then with that hand, kind of turn it a little bit for me. Great, and we can kind of play around with that. I think that looks beautiful. Again, just focusing on fingers, making sure everything is light and soft. And something that I love is right here, we're creating this nice bend and it's just a nice line instead of having everything perfectly straight. Next, why don't we turn the other direction? So Brandy, if you want to turn all the way around, beautiful. And so again, that's another shot right there. Why don't you turn even a little bit more so I can see more of your back and then kind of turn back towards the camera. That looks really nice. And then let's turn back straight towards me. And this time I'm just gonna have you kind of step back and forth with this little bit of a sway. Beautiful, and then slowly, gorgeous. And then each time she's doing this, I can capture a shot and that's gonna give me a lot of different options. Why don't we add a little bit of energy into this? So Brandy, I'm gonna have you almost be dancing this time and just really swaying back. And so I'll probably use a faster shutter for this so I can kind of capture her dancing. But this is also gonna help her just kind of get into the flow. I might have her slow down just a little bit but beautiful. I love the arm swaying. That looks great. Let's try another thing. So Brandy, why don't you bring your arm up to your waist? Your, yep, perfect. And then with your other arm, kind of wrap it around your waist. Gorgeous. That's a beautiful shot right there. And then let's turn again, kind of moving this shoulder towards me. Yep. And kind of holding your hands in the center like you are. Beautiful. That looks really great. And so that gives you guys a, a few ideas of poses. There's other stuff we can do. Just like you can play with hands a lot. You can bring your hands up to your neck. You can do a head tilt. You can bring chin up and down. There's really so many different options for standing, but why don't we switch and I'll show you guys some sitting options as well. So I've made this little table out of a wood plank and some apple boxes and a few stools. And what we're gonna do now is practice some poses while sitting. So let's have arms on the table. And then Brandy, I'll just direct you and things that I'm looking for, I'm looking for like long lines, I'm looking for slight bends, I'm watching her neck, making sure that looks nice and long. I might have her have that forehead come out a little bit and nice little chin tilts. And really imagine that every single chin tilt is gonna be a different photo, so try everything. So just for starters, let's start with this. I'm kind of leaning into those hands, beautiful. And I'll go on the other side to direct you. Looking good. Okay, so that looks beautiful. Why don't we drop one of those arms? Beautiful, and then bring it just a little bit. Yep, you got it, perfect. And next up, let's drop both arms, kind of going in the same direction. Beautiful, maybe even try wrist crossed. And I always loved something like this where the wrists are crossed. I think that always looks really feminine and beautiful. Why don't we try bringing your hands to your face and kind of just lean into those hands a little bit. Gorgeous, nice. I love the long neck, I love the head tilt and try just a few different head tilts going in different directions. Beautiful, let's drop one of those arms. And this time, yep, beautiful. Just kind of leaning into it. And if you look at her fingers, they're really nice and long. I love that Brandy, you're kind of coming forward too, and you're putting some more weight on that hand. So if you want, you can just tell your model where to put that weight and it'll make a totally different photo. And then let's drop both hands, just having them crossed. And if you want, with your left arm, bring it up just slightly, yep. Bring it in a little bit. Perfect, and that is a really nice symmetrical photo. Why don't we try one more time just holding your hands in front. Beautiful, and long neck head tilt. That looks great. So those are some options for sitting. Why don't we try some for sitting on the ground as well? Okay, so now that we're sitting, we have a lot to play with because we have Brandy's legs, we have her arms, we can twist her, we can do all sorts of stuff. So just to start with, why don't we take a knee and bring it up and yeah, kind of just have this leg tucked underneath and I'll see how that looks. We'll go from there. So bringing that knee up, beautiful. That looks great. And then yeah, I love how your arms are wrapped around the leg. Why don't you do that again? Beautiful. And then let's take your elbows and actually first, why don't we take that bottom leg and just turn it a little bit more behind. You got it. Perfect. And with your hands, bring your elbows up to your knee and then kind of lean towards your hands. 
Beautiful. And pulling down on the dress just slightly. Gorgeous. Great. And then, yeah, kind of lean into those hands a little bit. And you can really do a lot of things as Brandy is doing. You can take your hand and you can turn it, your wrist. You can kind of hide behind it, so maybe just an eye is showing. Beautiful. And then why don't we try this? Turn a little bit more towards me. Great. And then really try to wrap yourself around that leg and just head down. Beautiful. And then why don't we bring both legs up, actually? So knees are right next to each other. And let's try kind of curling around your legs again. Beautiful. That looks great. And then let's take one arm. Let's put it behind you. Let's take both arms and put them behind you. Let's try a neck back, maybe a head tilt towards me, chin down, um, face directly towards me. Beautiful. And then with your legs in that position, why don't we just tuck them underneath you like so. Beautiful. And then we can try your hands both to your right hand side and to your left hand side. And then we can also try something where maybe across your legs, your wrists are crossed. And then bring one of those arms up to your face and kind of just hold your face. Beautiful. And let's try something turning around again. Yep, and looking over that shoulder. Can you bring that chin to your shoulder for me? Looking good. And then maybe look behind you. Beautiful. And then look directly in front. So we'll do a profile shot. Looking over that way. Gorgeous. And chin up slightly. Beautiful. Head tilt towards me. Great. So you can see in all these movements, it's really subtle movements, but they make such a big difference. Let's try one more thing. Granny, let's cross wrists in front of you. Beautiful. And then why don't we, with your shoulders, try bringing one up higher. Great. And now we're creating some nice lines with her shoulders too. Let's take hands and try them behind you. Beautiful. And let's take those legs and extend them just a little bit. Beautiful, so now we're creating these nice long legs. And if you want to, try to push them out a little bit more to the side if you can, Brandy. Gorgeous, and so I think in this video, her foot's getting cut off a little bit, but we're creating these really nice long lines that are gonna help with that kind of feminine style. And just take that wrist and turn it, yep, beautiful. So that gives you guys a few examples of what you can do with posing and how these little differences really help. Just remember to keep, out, keep an eye out for those long lines, long neck, look for lips, look for contact with the eyes, and don't be afraid to try tilting your model in every which direction to see what works. Okay, so think about the qualities that you want to portray through the photo and through the pose. Combine those emotions or story with moving the body and finding the most flattering angles while also matching the expressions in there as well. And that's all I've got for this video, but I would love to hear your thoughts. Are you interested in a video featuring masculine poses? Um, personally, do you have a preference between feminine or masculine, or do you like to mix those traits? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you all next time.